Okay, we're out again, Plaza Constitucion. And uh, this is a familiar place. There it is right there, again. Beautiful Plaza Constitucion. Oh, Plaza Constitucion, train station, beautiful. And uh, I'm gonna apologize up front. This is gonna be a really sweaty video. It is hot out today. Like, it's not, uh, it's still morning. And uh, it's already like in the 80s, high 80s almost. It's, uh, I'm in the sun here and it's actually really hot and it's humid too. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be sweating through this video. But uh, I think because it's such a hot day, we wanna try and find something that's like indoors. Uh, maybe where there's a little bit of air conditioning. And uh, when I was in uh, that neighborhood, Kashao, back on election day, uh, now of course it's after the election, uh, I saw this really, really cool looking building and um, uh, I got some shots of it. Uh, I didn't put them in the video. Uh, they'll go in this video, of course, but I didn't know what the, the building was. I had no idea. I just thought it was a cool old building. So I looked into it a little more and <laughs> so it turns out it is the Museum of Water and the History of Sanitation, which of course sounds really boring but um, I, I think I, I think that it's a crazy story because basically what it is is it's like a pumping station and it's kind of old uh, like most things in Buenos Aires it's kind of old and they needed a you know a water pumping station and a sewage treatment station but that's like in the middle of the city a city as beautiful as Buenos Aires that's like really really ugly to have big sewage tanks and, and pipes and stuff so they're not gonna they're not gonna do that they don't mess with that kind of stuff uh, in Buenos Aires so they built what is an amazing beautiful building around it to like kind of hide it I would imagine uh, and now there's a museum so we're literally gonna go to like a poop museum today uh, so uh, we'll hop on the sute we'll go over to the poop museum and uh, we'll see what that's all about okay so we're off the sute Kashao station and last time we were here it was Sunday everything was super quiet but you can even hear it already there's a lot of traffic on the streets, there's people walking around. So this is what it looks like more on a, on a weekday. A lot busier, a lot busier in the neighborhood. Uh, no, longer, uh, no longer a quiet Sunday. Lots of things going on. So we are on our way to the Poop Museum. And I was thinking about this when I was on the train. We, I actually got off at the wrong stop. The stop right before this is Teatro Colon, which is like this really, really big, famous uh, theater. And I was thinking, that's where every other travel vlogger would get off, right? They, it's very loud here, it's very loud. That's where everybody else would get off. Everybody else would get off at Teatro Colón, and they would show you that, and it's a beautiful place, but I mean, come on, that's what everybody else is gonna do. Who, who's gonna go the extra mile and, uh, and take you to see the uh, Poop Museum of Buenos Aires? The famous, infamous Poop Museum of Buenos Aires, right? I'll tell you who. This guy. This guy right here. Okay, uh, in preparation for the Poop Museum, uh, I gotta go use the bathroom, actually. And there's a McDonald's that's still here right across the street. Same McDonald's. We're gonna go over there. Perfect place to prepare for the Poop Museum is to go to McDonald's. So, uh, we'll see you in just a bit. Okay, so uh, while we were in McDonald's, I uh, did a little uh, research, a little more research on the, uh, the Museum of Poop, and uh, it, it used to be called the uh, Palacio de Aguas Corrientes, which means the Palace of Running Water, which is perfect, I think, for it because it really does look like a palace, um, and it was built uh, back in the 19th century, late 19th century, 1894, I think. And uh, they actually, it was designed as a water pumping station. So it wasn't like they had this awesome building and they decided to make it into a water pumping station. They straight up designed it to be uh, like to hide pipes and sewage tanks and stuff. And they built this amazing building. That's that is such uh like buenos aires thing to do they're they're the most amazing uh 
amazing buildings you see around here and then you look at it and you find out what it is and it's you know like a, a building to hide a water pumping station it's just it's just amazing getting, getting eaten by mosquitoes here in the park but that's okay um, so the other thing I found out uh, is that I arrived basically like uh, I don't know like half an hour before they're about to close for the middle of the day uh, I keep forgetting around here they a lot of places they do the siesta thing so something will be open until like one o'clock in the afternoon and then it'll close for two hours and then it'll open up again or something like that so uh, spent spent a good amount of time just hanging out at McDonald's killing time um, and then I uh, decided to come over here to this park same park we were sitting in the other day uh, it's a lot busier there's a lot more people around uh, but I found a nice shady spot underneath these big uh, kind of like palm tree uh, looking things where you can just sit on the ground and relax a little bit so uh, we'll kill a little time here and then uh, I don't know maybe take a little poke around the neighborhood um, and then we'll go uh, once it opens up we'll go over and we'll see the inside of this uh, water pumping station which apparently is also like still um, it's not just a museum it's like uh, uh, it's the offices for the the sanitation and water um, uh, like the municipal the municipal uh, government um, so so like it's a uh, it's the it's the central offices for for the uh, it's uh, it's like the central offices for the municipality, you know, the, the, the government um, office for, for water and sanitation. So, crazy. Crazy place. Uh, we'll go check it out. Alright, so, coming up on it here, it's right around the corner. And uh, this is what it was like, this is how I saw it for the first time. Just walking around, came around this corner. And uh, you can't really see it until you get to the corner. But there it is. Look at this crazy building. This thing is amazing. Across the street, trying not to get run over. I'm actually going to, I think I'm going to try and go across the other side of the street and get a really, really good shot of it. Alright, so here it is. This is what they do in Buenos Aires when they build a water pumping station and sewage treatment plant they needed to hide the pipes so that nobody knew what was going on inside you know for uh, everyone's sensitivities uh, so in 1894 they built this thing which is simply amazing. This honestly might be one of the coolest buildings that I have seen, not just here in Buenos Aires, but really like anywhere in the world. I mean, look at this thing. Look at this thing. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely. I think uh, the museum part of it is actually going to open up pretty soon. So we're going to go try and find out where we go into this amazing building. Uh, looks like there's a date on it that says 1887. I had heard that it was 18, uh, 1894 when this thing, but maybe that was when it opened. And 1887 is when they started building it. I don't know. Let's go around and try and find uh, try and find where the where the door is to this place. Still trying to figure out where exactly we go in uh, this building. It really is amazing, though. I keep looking up at it, and uh, there's just this incredible, like intricate design work on the exterior of the building. You know, every window, every door. I mean, the amount of uh, the amount of effort that went into making this building is really, really incredible. Uh, man, let's see. Let's figure out where we can go. 
in, I think there's somebody may know around here. Uh, disculpe, señor. Uh, ¿Dónde puedo entrar uh, a este edificio? Uh, uh, ¿Allí? Uh, bueno. Oh, sí, gracias. Okay, so this guy said uh, right around the corner. Go in here. He gave me a look when I asked where I can go into this building. He almost gave me a look like, wow, well, uh, I guess over here. I don't know why you would want to go into that building. Um, which I guess makes, makes sense. Maybe not everybody wants to go to the Poop Museum, but uh, I do. And uh, I'm taking you all hostage. You're coming with me. I've kidnapped you, and we're all going to the Poop Museum together. Uh, oh, here we go. I think this might be it. Let's see. There's a stairway. The gate is open. And, uh, yeah. Looks like this is it. Palacio de las Aguas Corrientes. Here we go. Palacio de las Aguas Corrientes. And there's even a QR code, so if you pause the video and you scan the QR code, I guess you can get some more information about the Palace of Running Water. But uh, before we go in, this is what I'm talking about with the intricate design. Look at the door. I mean, this is like the, the front door to... Uh, I mean, this incredible building. I can pan up. Look at that. Look at all this, like, design work that they did. It's so incredible. It's definitely the nicest water treatment plant I've ever seen. So we're going to go in and check it out. Gracias, gracias. Eh, este edificio es magnífico. Sí, sí. No. No. Bueno, listo. Muchas gracias. Gracias. Okay, I think we went in the wrong door. I think that was actually like the entrance for the, because like I said, this is actually the government office for the Department of Water and Sanitation. I don't know, I guess you maybe go in there and pay your water bill or something. Uh, that, that nice lady told me that, uh, I think, I think what she said is that the museum is around here somewhere. Like, you have to go around. So. Garage. Take a look. Keep walking, we're gonna find it. We didn't come all this way not to actually go in and see uh, see the poop museum. Even though it is amazing from the outside. We gotta go in. Oh, almost tripped on that. We gotta go in and see it from the inside too. I mean, geez, this thing is incredible. I'm trying really, really hard not to swear. But this thing is just like Fucking incredible. Okay, yeah, here we go. Around this side, I see some banners, like, hanging by the doorway. Definitely looks very museum-like. I'm gonna shoot across the street real quick, try not to get run over. Oh, shit. I'm gonna get a better shot of this. The, the door side here where the museum is because it, it, the entrance way is it, just like incredible gosh this building is just nuts this blows my mind hold on let's look, look at this 
Windows, they have these. Here, I'll zoom in. They have these amazing, like, really, really decorative things. And, and each one of these is different. You see this, like, this little decorative part with the sun right there? There's like a little, uh, almost like a painting, or a, a mosaic of like a ships out on the water. And each one of these, there's another one over here, like, right there. And it's different. Each one is done individually different. It's amazing. Up there, there's more. You can see it right there. Each one is different. So the amount of like individual uh, painstaking effort that went into every single one of these, and I'm sure you know, like each one of these little uh, decorations has its own significance for why they why they made it that way. It's just amazing. Enough of this. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. We're gonna go into, uh, into the food museum. There we go. We're going in. Try not to get run over in the street. Let's go. Uh, actually, I'm gonna turn this camera off real quick. But once we get back inside, we'll uh, we'll turn it back on and we'll take a look around. All right. So we're inside the museum. The guy at the front confirmed. The museum is open. And. Uh, you got a kick out of this camera. The camera is actually really small. People see this camera and they don't think it's a camera. But, you know, Whew. a little sweaty because it still is very hot and humid outside, but it's nice and cool in here. Flip the camera around so you don't have to look at my face. And you can see all the stuff in here. These are awards, yeah. Premios y reconocimientos. So it looks like Premios is, is awards or prizes. So I guess these are <laughs> awards for the uh, water treatment and the sanitation, which is good, I guess. You know, it's weird. Uh, the, I'm filming this today on uh, on Thanksgiving Day. I mean, they don't celebrate Thanksgiving here in Argentina, um, but in the United States, it's Thanksgiving, and. No joke, uh, we should all probably be pretty thankful for sanitation and water treatment. You know, one of the things I, uh, I uh, hola, buen dia. Aquí no, no se puede filmar. Oh, no? Arriba. Oh, arriba, arriba, sí. entiendo. Okay. Uh, ¿Dónde está la escalera? Sí, por acá. Sí? Primer piece. Gracias. Uh, okay, here we go. I almost went into like the, yeah, yeah, you know, that was the area. That I went into there, I was almost, that's like, I guess where people go to pay their water bills. And uh, the guy told me I couldn't film in there. But he says the stairs are up here. Oh yeah, here we go. Museo de Agora y de la Historia Sanataria. Up here. But what I was saying is, uh, we really should be <laughs> thankful for, uh, for, you know, sanitation and water treatment. I mean, it sounds stupid, but it's really true. The amount of uh, research that I've been doing about Argentina and history and whatnot, a lot of it's back in the you know 1800s and whatnot, and they were just having cholera outbreaks all the time. So maybe that's why they made such an amazing building around a water treatment plant. Because when you have a history of having like a major cholera outbreak every few uh, every few decades makes you happy to have good water treatment.
very quiet in here. There's not a lot of people. So we're gonna keep our voice down. Feels very much like a library. This is a plaque de bronce del edificio de la Administración Central de OSN. Ubicado en Marcelo T. de Alvear, 1840. So it looks like this is a bronze plaque for the building of the administration of the OSN. Which I don't know what OSN is. Oh, looks like it is. Obras Sanitarias de la Nación. So I think these are like the previous acronyms for the uh, government agencies for water treatment and sanitation. <laughs> I can't believe I'm walking around a water treatment sanitation museum, but I'm, I'm floored by this. This looks like it's a uh, timeline, timeline of how you know how they built this this building I'm not gonna try and translate everything that's on here that would take forever and I would get it all wrong I'm sure but I'll take a slow pan by and if anybody wants to uh, translate you can do it do it for yourself tripped over this bench behind myself. That would have been hilarious for all of you. These are these, are these, these little decorations that I was showing on the outside. They look like this. And each one of them has a different, uh, like a different image in this part here. So here, a solicitar del gobierno, so like solicited by the government, en la declaración se incluyeron escudos de las distintas provincias de la ciudad. So each one of those represents um, different parts of the city, I guess, different like uh, neighborhoods maybe. It's pretty amazing. Okay, in the 1887, sobre la portada, over the door, uh, the main front door, it says 1887, the year which, uh, I guess when they started, yeah, the year when they started construction. So 1887, they started this, and I think it was opened in 1894. That's pretty amazing. If, that, if that's the case, then they built this building in seven years, which for the time that it was built is pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, oh, look at this. Wilde. That's our, that's our, that's our town, Wilde. This is where we're staying. So it looks like this is a water treatment plant out in Wilde. Damn, I wonder if we can go find this. We're gonna have to look into this. I, I don't wanna translate all this right now, but I'm gonna get a good shot of it. <laughs> and then we can like look at it later. We can translate and we can try and figure out if this place is still actually in Wilde, and if it is, we can go see it. Man, like, we're getting a lot of, uh, we're getting a lot of poop-related content out of me. I hope you're all really happy about this. Like I said, other travel vloggers might take you to all the, the real touristy spots, but come on, who's gonna get down and dirty with you at the poop museum, huh? Who's gonna do that? Yeah, that's right, just me. Just an idiot like me. I'm guessing this is all just like a timeline of different uh, it's either a timeline of like different um, the 
developments in this building, or it's like showing off other buildings. I think it's showing off other buildings in other parts of the city or like other um, other towns like Wilde. I don't know what all this is. I guess this is like I don't even know what these are. These diagrams. They're pretty cool. They look very old. They look like like uh, 1940s, 1930s, 1940s-esque. These might be like recreations of a previous, um, you know, exhibit or something, talking about uh, water treatment. Like I said, you know, back in the 1800s, they were having cholera outbreaks and all kinds of problems. I mean, kind of like they were in in every you know industrializing part of the world. So, you know, to to build a a big water treatment plant like this to a point where you could just get like clean water come right out of the tap in your house and uh, you could drink it and wouldn't get sick. That's actually a pretty amazing achievement. So we take it for granted now, I guess, but I mean, imagine, imagine what it would have been like if your whole life you had to worry about drinking the water because you're gonna, you know, poop yourself to death afterwards. And now all of a sudden you get clean water coming like right to you, right out of your sink. It's pretty amazing. Hola, siento. There's some amazing pieces of the architecture. Yeah, like you can see up close. These things that are on the outside of the building, gosh, they're amazing. So much care went into making, you know, each one of these and, and placing them on the outside of this building. It's pretty incredible. Actually, it looks like it wasn't a guided tour. There's a screen behind me with a guy, a video of a guy talking. I'm like, let's see if you can see it. Yeah, I see him over my shoulder. Amazing. Old pipes. And oh, look at this, man. If you're a fan of like, Art Deco graphic design and whatnot from like the 30s. Look at that. Look at how cool that is. It's amazing. Different kinds of pipes. This pipe is. It's made out of wood. It's a wooden pipe. little diorama are pretty cool looking. <laughs> Buenos Aires is such a cool city. Prison toilets. It's crazy. 
bastante. Old timey toilets. The old flesh box with the chain, which I still think is really cool. I would love to have a toilet like that at some point. things really remind me of like the the old WPA uh, advertisements and whatnot from the United States from the from the 30s and the 40s I don't know I don't know what this stuff is it's got uh, a lot of people's signatures on it though so some sort of old legal documents and uh, looks like old old diagrams of pipes and different. Uh, oh, these must be patents. I bet these are patents for like different kinds of faucets. Pretty interesting. And here are all the old faucets. Hey, if you're into old timey faucets, this is your place. Come to White House I Race. See what else is going on around here. Oh, look at this gigantic thing. There's some more of the, I imagine the old the designs on the outside, some of the like stonework that's on the outside of the building. This is like up close, up close examples. Pretty amazing. This looks like a replica of an old office from, I would guess, back like in the 1930s. You can imagine someone hanging out here, sitting, uh, sitting at their little uh, their desk, typing out people's water bills. Collection of old water meters over here, more of them. I will say there are other people here at the museum. I am not the only crazy person going to a sanitation museum. And some other people are filming stuff too. This looks like a OSN public service. Uh, with, who, who is this? Josue Gotita. They must have had like a little, like a mascot for the, for the OSN, Gotita. She's got a little droplet. As a, as a head, her head is a water droplet. Toilet museum. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. I think we found it. We found the toilet room, guys. Look at this. Oh, oh, oh. old style squat toilets, Turkish toilets. This is. Everything, everything toilet back there in that room. I mean, even 
<laughs> this is crazy. Even the, the bookcase that they have in the museum holding books about, like, I don't know, toilets and sanitation. Look at this thing. Look at it. Look at how intricate it is. I mean, you know, it's all hand carved. This really goes, <laughs> I mean, I don't want to sound like an old geezer boomer, but like, man, they really don't make stuff like they used to. When you see like so much stuff that's just churned out and like mass manufactured buildings and yeah, not just, not just things like bookcases and whatnot, but like buildings too, you know, you go see some subdivision and it's just like a bunch of McMansions that are all churned out. Then you see a building like this that they built just to house a sewage treatment plant. I mean, it's just, it's incredible. It really is crazy. So like, okay, where are we going here? What is this? This looks like, uh, oh, well, I think these are, I think this is it. These are like the actual, the actual pipes. See, now I don't know if this place is still an active water treatment plant. Or if they just like maintained some of the old pipe structure just to show as a as part of the museum i imagine that's what it is although i don't know i mean you can come here you know like i almost got uh, i got yelled at for <laughs> filming in the area where people are I guess i try to pay their water bills and whatnot but like i don't think this is still like an active water treatment plant but i mean it's just it's really amazing because like this is you can see like the guts of the inside of the building and they, it looks like they kept this area preserved i mean except for these this artwork that's hanging here but like they kept it preserved so i guess it looks like what it used to look like on the inside all like industrial you know big steel i-beams with rivets super cool it reminds me a lot of uh Plaza Constitución, the, the train station that we go through pretty much every day. I just see this. Man, I'll say it. I'll say it again. They don't they don't build them like they used to. God, I sound like such a boomer. That's alright. I mean, <laughs> maybe we are a boomer. We're in a we're in a toilet museum. Who goes and sees toilet museums? boomers I guess that's all right I'm not ashamed I'm not ashamed to find a toilet museum interesting and like I said <laughs> I kidnapped you all and you all have to come with me so haha uh -huh. now you're now you're coming to see the toilet museum too yeah look at this it's amazing Look at these old pipes. Yeah. I mean, you can see that, you know, if this was, these pipes were out in the open, exposed, the people of Buenos Aires would, would not be having that, not be having that, not with the way the rest of the city looks with all the beautiful you know european style buildings so i guess it makes sense they had to figure out a way to make this building look beautiful and amazing so you know instead of making municipal water treatment plant number five or whatever it would probably be called if it were in the united states and they're just stuffing it inside some big concrete slab building they made El Palacio de Aguas Corrientes, the Palace of Running Water. It's pretty cool. Buenos Aires is so cool. Found this window open here. 
because you know like I said it's pretty hot today so they got the windows open and down there if you can see there's like you know the air conditioner I guess and the HVAC for the building but it's all hidden inside this sort of like internal uh, area that you can't see from the outside but I mean like <laughs> even on the inside right the parts where like you're just gonna open a window and all you're gonna see is the person in the window like across the way they made it look incredible with these like really intricate intricate fixtures it's just amazing this is this is like literally the part of the building that nobody's really ever gonna see and it's got like can you see it handmade stained glass windows Crazy. This is just, just absolutely crazy. It sounds like there's like a kids group on the other side of the curtain here talking about learning about water and poop, I guess. They have a they have a films playing like on the uh, on these screens over here. It's pretty cool. And again, you can see like the inside uh, part of the building with all the rafters, steel, rivets, very cool looking, very like turn of the century, early, early 1900s looking. So cool. and filming in the pool museum. Alright, honestly, I think I've subjected all of you long enough to the, uh, to the wonders of the pool museum, so uh, I think we're going to go. place is like it's, it's mind-boggling it's a it is a uh, it is a baffling structure it really is it, everything about it for like it's just its very existence is, is baffling to me that they put this much effort into a building that's really just meant to hide uh, to hide the pipes and the, the you know it's crazy crazy so I found a little uh, very little description here that's in English, actually. So, of what the museum is, and let me flip this around. See if you can see it. So, I'll film it for a little bit. If you want to read it all, you can pause the video and take a look and see what it says. It. That's it. We've we've officially seen on Thanksgiving Day, 2023. We uh, we saw the. I keep calling it the poop museum. I'm not gonna call it the poop museum anymore. That's disrespectful. After what I have seen here, we saw the Palacio de Aguas Calientes, or no, Palacio de Aguas Corrientes. The Palace of Running Water. So it's no longer the Poop Museum. It is the Palace of Running Water. And it always will be. <laughs>